Hello lovely people, welcome back and we're going to clear past lives that the, the soul doesn't want to see which is often one of the uh, categories that comes up in the charts when I'm doing a, a full clearing um, but we're making a full clearing of it, well a, full, a group clearing of it, it's not as big as uh, the individual clearings I do but it's going to be quite interesting to see what comes up in this one so we want to clear away past lives that the soul doesn't want to see it doesn't want to acknowledge it doesn't want to uh, register for some reason for whatever reason so set your intention to receive the benefits of this clearing let's see what comes up it's going to be very interesting I think um, and um, yeah let's go for it so clearing past lives that the soul doesn't want to see let me just reposition the camera there for you right okay so where's it running for people Oh, very clear, zero positive and 100 negative. It's so interesting. Um, so interesting. And where's it running? Again, it's right down on incarnational level, right rock bottom of the levels of consciousness here in this chart three. So let's do that clearing on past lives that the soul doesn't want to see. The soul doesn't want to see, doesn't want to acknowledge. Past lives that the soul doesn't want to see or acknowledge. And let's do that clearing to raise it up to radiant love and your paradigm level as a minimum and up to 100 positive down to zero negative for everybody's highest good. Yes, I'm trying to think what chart that's normally on past lives. That... Let's have a look. Uh, the soul doesn't want to see. It comes up quite a lot. And I felt very, very inspired to do a, um, a clearing just on that area. Where is it now? That's typical, isn't it? Can't find it now. Past lives, the soul doesn't want to examine here. Past lives, the soul doesn't want to examine. This is on chart 21 in this one universe. So, yeah. So let's do a clearing on this, clearing away all that old energy. We're moving hugely quickly into all this new energy, new creativity now. So we want to really shift the stuff of old. Yeah, in my book it says for past lives that the soul doesn't want to look at. Um, it says once the clearing work is finished, we ask that the soul, we ask if the soul is lying or covering up, uh, as there may be something it doesn't want to look at. Uh, the energy may be so intense that the soul tries to cover up. Um, in which case, normally we'd ask for a spiritual kick for the soul to get them out of that entrenched pattern there, but. Um, so I, th I think it's where there's been intense experiences um, in other lifetimes. Um, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So clearing that away, clearing anything out of the way, it's going to hinder, hinder you in any way. For your highest good, always for your highest good. I hope you're all keeping well. Right, okay, let's see where we're going first. Is it chart four? Is it chart one? Four, it is a spiritual kick, so we're giving everybody a spiritual kick. And the spiritual kick is a bit like a jolt, really. It takes it takes the um, soul out of entrenched patterns there. Comes up now and then in individual clearings.
chart tinny. We've got curses to clear, that's interesting. Let's just get those cleared there. I'm not going to go into any detail with those. Your teams will know what needs clearing. This is at God level of consciousness. Clear any curses away connected. And the thing is curses, especially if you've made them in other lifetimes, you know, it keeps you connected, it hooked in to certain energies and uh, certain situations. So we want to get those cleared. And they're just, uh, curses are just, you know, um, intentions that are, um, yeah, bad intentions. I don't like using um, a duality judgment to it, but um, that's what they are. Let's just clear those away. Across all levels of consciousness on chart three for everyone watching or listening to this, please. For the highest good. Always for the highest good. Oh. That's a relaxed um, sigh. <laughs> Feeling very, very relaxed today. Very relaxed. <laughs> Clearing a lot away. Right, okay, let's see what's next. Chart 12, which is spirit and energy programming. Let's see what's coming up with that. We have dysfunction of spirit by thought. Miasm of spirit. Anything else that's coming up? Feels like there is, yeah. 12 aspects of spirit's genetic coding. This is all at Queen of Life level of consciousness. So let's just clear those away, which is uh, kind of the womb equivalent of the soul. So we really are in higher levels of consciousness with this. Again, that's another, it's a, it's a relaxed yawn. It's not a bored yawn by the sound of it. It's, I'm feeling very chilled. So the song I've got in my head today is Spaceman by um, Sam Ryder, who uh, sang it at Eurovision for the UK. I just think it's utterly brilliant and uh, it's going through my head right now. Um, such a performer, such a personality filled with love. Very, very special person, Sam Ryder. Very, very, very special person energetically. Um, carries a uh, carries a very bright light from other star systems. Very very bright light. Saw it instantly with him. Right, where are we going next? Chart twenty three, which is spiritual realms programs, and we are clearing the soul. Interesting. So let's clear the soul then. Clearing the soul. That doesn't come up very often. I'm up in space, man. Up in space, man. I've been around the universe. Do, 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 do. I'm up in space, man. And I want to go home. Gravity is pulling me down. Uh, 
Right, clearing a lot away there, so we're clearing the soul. Just get the feeling there's an awful lot that's clearing this, this one from other lifetimes, so. I hope you can all feel the benefits and receive the benefits of this. As always, make, make sure with all these clearings that you're 100% open to receiving healing before you start any healing process so that you can fully absorb all the healing that you're doing, whatever type of healing. And it's always, um, you know, it's always going to be um, an amalgamation of, of different methods of healing that brings healing to you. There's not just one healing mechanism. Um, sometimes we need EFT, sometimes we need SRT, sometimes we need Theta, sometimes we need Psych K, sometimes we need NLP, sometimes we need hypnosis, sometimes we need something else, you know, uh, EMDR. Sometimes we need some other method somewhere. So, um, so it's usually a combination of methods uh, that will bring about the kind of integration that you're searching for. And often one will clear the way for the other. Chart 28, final forgiveness. Um, SRT is very good at clearing the pathway. Uh, so clearing the obstacles away to allow the right mechanism to come in for the next stage or or to clear the clear the way for an opportunity to come in. Uh, and sometimes, I mean, you know, we there can be an extraordinary clearing from SRT that, that you just know something major has shifted there um, within you. I, I've had all sorts of experiences and so have my clients over the years. So um, personal items we're clearing here. Uh, re releasing anger at all levels, that can definitely be from other lifetimes, clearing the void, so let's clear all of those. So, I mean, if you're looking for something to change your life, um, I'd always say go for a combination of different methods, really. But I've had, I've had uh, emotion come out of nowhere when I've done clearings on myself using this system. And I've also had, before I ever trained in this system, I had someone someone do a clearing on me uh, when I was feeling in a particularly anxious state about something oh many 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 years ago and uh, I got instant relief from it so um, yeah and other times it's a very very subtle change and other times I don't notice anything but I know that my mind is quieter so um, it really depends what you're clearing how many levels of what you're clearing you're holding on to energetically and how energetically prepared are you to let go of what is being cleared? Because if there's a lot of resistance there, you'll hang on by your fingernails um, for dear life, you know, to some of these things. Because it's it's predictable, it's familiar to the ego and it wants to hold on to predictability and familiarity. So... Um, so it builds up a lot of resistance to change, even though the change is beneficial to you. So it is getting past that ego sometimes, isn't it? It's quite, uh, we set these things up um, very strongly. And if you've got a lot of resistance, you've probably got a very strong mind uh, that you're using against you rather than for you. Okay, so where are we next? Nearly there. Chart 30, it looks like, final light. And we're clearing the life stream. And that's it. So let's clear the life stream there. And then wrap up. Wonderful. 
Okay, where are we going? Anything else? No? To mop up? So let's just do a quick mop up for you all, for your highest good. Right, are we done? Anything else to clear? No. Okay, so is the high self team happy and um, soul committees happy? Yeah, anything else to be done at this moment in time? No, so let's just seal the kitchen records. And where's it now? Past lives that the soul doesn't want to examine? That's fine. Okay, and on here? No. On here? Yeah, radiant love, new paradigm, level of consciousness. Wonderful. And then we have it, another one done. So allow three clear days for the changes to take place. And um, don't do too many of these videos at once. Maybe just, you know, a couple at a time maximum because they are quite short and they are group clearings, but they're uh, nevertheless still quite powerful. So drink plenty of water, rest. And uh, by day four, after the clearing, then everything should level down. You get a feeling of where you are now. So um, any questions, pop them down below and I'll see you in the next clearing. Lots of love.